Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're still in Northumberland. We're still exploring. We're still getting surprised by multiple different things. But today we're going to check out Norham Castle and I think it's called the Five Stones, uh, which is a little further along down the road. But Norham Castle is an English Heritage Trust, English Heritage Site, not National Trust. Um, so we're going to go check out this castle. So the castle behind me, Norham Castle, was actually painted at least 15 times that we know of by uh, John Turner, I think it's John Turner, um, the very, very famous um, watercolorist and, and, and oil painter. Um, but apparently as time went on, the more and more he matured with his artwork, the less he paid, paid attention to detail, and the more he paid attention to light. So you've got paintings of this, this castle that are, are, are beautiful, but a lot of detail, and you've got others like, the uh, Norham Castle by Sunrise, which is just basically two different colors blended and just to create a beautiful monochrome um, or duochrome, if you want to call it, the two um, styles of painting, which is very, very unique. But yeah, Turner spent a lot of time up here painting this castle. So Norham Castle was classed to be the most dangerous place in England, partly due to its location and partly due to as many wars as it was involved in. So Norham Castle was built in 1121 by the Bishop of Durham as a stronghold of its estate in Normanshire. Um, it is besieged by the Scots no less than nine times or 19 times, I'll double check that, uh, and captured four times. Um, it just it was defend it defended the English and Scottish border for for, for many 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 years, um, and continued to do so up until the reign of Elizabeth I, when it started to fall into disrepair after the union of Scotland and England. So what you see behind me is the Great Tower, started out about 900 years ago as a small ceremonial building and by the time it got to the late 15th or the early 16th century uh, it became a five-story building that you see today where it had a flat roof that would hold the guns that were needed to defend themselves against the Scottish and Scottish artillery. This castle is a very different beast compared to the last few we've seen. Uh, Work Cross Castle being the biggest one of note. How much more um, intact that was compared to this one, it's a shame. Things like this fall into disrepair, but when you don't need them anymore, things tend to fall apart when you stop taking care of them. And obviously, once Scotland and England were united, it was no longer needed. So this place doesn't cost anything to get into, it's wide open to the public. So definitely come check it out if you're in the area. I wouldn't necessarily make too much of a special trip to come check this one out. Um, it's cool to wander around, it'd be great to come bring a picnic down here. Um, but anyway, we're headed to Dodo Five Stones, um, which is not too far from here. It's a stone circle, reminiscent of Stonehenge, but potentially smaller and not nearly as grand. Um, of course, there are many such stone circles around the UK, so we're gonna go check out this one since it's so close by. All right guys, here we are at some little random parking area off a very quiet road, um, heading to Dodo Five Stones, which is the stone circle. And it's about a mile hike to get there. Um, it's not very close to the road.
I don't know why somebody necessarily chose a specific site. There's only five stones and we're missing one going that way, which I believe is directly west. Um, there's a couple of places that they've placed marker stones that they believe that there would have been uh, bigger stones or the remnants of bigger stones. But man, if I was going to pick somewhere to build a stone circle that was sacred, this would be it. This is just absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. Look at the, the views. And it shows east doesn't have much of a view. West has the best view. So obviously west was far more important to these people than uh, east seems to be. Or maybe east with the big gap in the rocks to see the sunrise. Stunning though. Very, very cool. What I don't get is what all the vertical striations are, whether those are originally put there or if they were uh, just a result of erosion over the years. So that's two ancient ruins we've done today. But we're going to try one more, which is Mailman Hinge, Henge, Mailman, Mailman, Henge, and Trail, um, which is another about 20 minutes from here. So we're going to go check that one out. I hope you guys stick with us. I hope you think these things are as cool as I do, because otherwise I don't know why I'm making these videos. Um, so we'll see you there. Uh, catch you in a bit. We made it down to the Mail Min, that's spelled M-A-E-L-M-I-N, Heritage Trail, um, where we're going to just check out this wood henge. And wood henges were more to do with life than they were to do with death, which the Stonehenge, uh, henges, Avery, stone circles, the one that we just saw, are more to do with um, death, to do with mourning the dead, um, not human sacrifice, as has been thought. Um, so we're just going to go check out this heritage trail um, and there's a lot of history, a lot of archaeology throughout this area. Um, so see what we can find and see what we can check out. So in this field behind us, it doesn't look like very much, but uh, aerial photography shows that this, this is where the town of Mailman um, originated to about 650 AD, um, originated from. However, excavations um, of the area of around the Mel Melman Henge have proven that there were still people living here about 200 years later. So what we're standing in front of, which is really, really cool, is the construction or reconstruction of a, uh, a house that would have been used in the Dark Ages, which is basically the time uh, after Rome, the Romans left England. Because they talk about it being dark and light, it's not because it was dark times, it was lack of knowledge, darkness without knowledge. Um, you know what I mean anyway. So the Dark, the dark Ages was a lack of literacy, a lack of education, a lack of knowledge. Um, but anyway, that's what this house was for. Unfortunately, there is no door to get into it um, and unfortunately they've also had some damage done to it, so they've got some CCTV installed on it. here we are inside the wood henge obviously recreated where they've dug out the barrows um, and obviously the trees are not original that would have been here um, these been replaced I'm sure several times um, to show exactly where the original wood staves wood poles would have been um, so you've got this outer circle 
comprised of half a dozen, maybe 10 different logs. And I don't know if those would have gone all the way around, but in the center we've got this big uh, circular area just of evenly spaced logs. So anyway guys, I'm gonna leave you here. I hope you guys enjoy this kind of odd video, taking you back in time, step back in time. Um, as always guys, take care and thanks for watching.